Today in this video we are going to learn a very new feature of Adobe XD which is called audio playback. Now you can play any audio whenever you tap something so or maybe when you transition from one artboard to another one you can play some audio. So this is a great way because a lot of mobile apps they use audio feedbacks. So whenever you press a key or some transaction is done there is a sound. So let me show you some examples I have created for you. Uh, first one is this one. So now I'm going to play it. I'm also using speech playback. Speech plays, playback is different and audio playback is different. So let me show you what it, uh, what it does. What is the mostly used payment option? Okay, so this is speech playback. Now, if I click on this one, you can see it is giving error audio. And if I click on these, these are also error audios. And if I click on this one, see, so this is a great use of this audio playback feature. So let me show you how you can use that. Uh, before that, I'm going to show you one more example. So here's another one which I have created. Okay, so one sound. And second one. Okay. So these are few examples of uh, audio playback which uh, you can use in your prototypes using Adobe XD. Now let me show you how actually you can use that feature. For that I'm going to delete all these uh, uh, anchor points and these prototype links. So give me some time. Okay, so all the links have been deleted. Uh, so first what we are going to do is we are going to select this one. Now uh, you can either click over here if you want to add the audio on the loading of this, uh, this screen. You can just click once over here. So you can just uh, click over here once so you can see uh, here is a trigger which is tap and uh, on tap I think we, we don't need tap so we are going to use time over here okay. So this is for the loading of this screen. So on this time we don't want any transition we want audio playback. Now for audio playback we are going to choose a file. I have already loaded a lot of files. You can add a new file and browse to that file. For example, GUI swipe 15 and I'm going to select this one. Now after 0.2 seconds of delay, I'm going to play this sound. So let's play this one. Okay. So this is when you are loading something. This is uh, when you want an audio on the loading of a screen. Similarly, like this one, we can also add audio feedbacks on these triggers, okay? So these options. So for example, I want an error um, error audio played on these, these two. So I can just click over here. I can go over here and where is my error? I'm not sure. So I'm going to select any over here. Similarly, over here, I can again go click over here on tap I'm going to play an audio which is going to be this one so let's play this now now if I tap over here it is going to give me this audio okay so these are audio feedbacks you can select the error audio I think I have forgotten where is my error audio so uh, anyhow okay now what we are going to do is we are going to do something different. This is only uh, audio on just tap. We can have multiple tr triggers or multiple actions on a single trigger. For example, over here like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one deb debit card and I'm going to move it and link it to the second screen. Okay. So once I have linked it, you can see here it says tap transition. So I'm going to select auto animate over here. And at the bottom over here it says action. 
so this is one action this is another one i can specify over here so i am going to plus uh, uh, press this add action over here and i am going to select audio playback so audio playback let's play something else for example let's play this 3 swipe 3 okay so uh, now what we have done is we have specify two interactions on a single action uh, sorry two actions on a single trigger so we have tap on tap first it is going to move to another screen then it is going to play this audio okay so this is a great way of uh, you know creating very interactive prototypes now let's test this one so i'm going to play this and this is the loading sound and if i click over here it is going to move to another screen and also play the audio see the error audio has been played and uh, let's go back and uh, also you can link the same uh, for example this one and i'm going to move to this screen and first we have auto animate and we are going to add another action over here and it will be audio playback and let's uh, use this success okay so i am going to play this uh, again and we are going to click on cash on delivery yes so this is uh, how you can uh, specify two uh, actions on a single trigger in adobe xd you can play an audio file and you can also transition from one screen to another one so this is a great um, you can say a great feature addition which is uh, going to be used very powerfully to create prototypes so i hope you have enjoyed this today's lesson if you have any questions or you didn't understand anything you can always put that in the comments below and uh, i hope to see you soon in another video next video before that you have to press the subscribe button and also uh, the notification bell press that also and maybe you can share this videos with some your other friends i hope you have understood the concept of using a, uh, two actions multiple actions on a single trigger and how to use audio playback see you soon in the next video till then take care and bye